This is a place, it's a place of hunger It is a place full of grace and wonder This is a place where the choice is always before you This is a maze, it's a maze to soar through But what you choose is the choice that makes you For every day is the sum of your life Oh, keep going, keep going, keep going, all the way down, go, go, go Sparks. Hey guys, my name's James. And I'm Ashley. After selling our house and traveling the country for years, we decided to build an RV home base to come back to. Hi, I'm Goose. I'm Ashley. Join us! Okay guys, this is a very exciting moment. For one, it looks like I have a mustache, but I just haven't shaved in a few days. I look haggard. Ashley doesn't have makeup on. It's freezing cold. There's, uh, there's literally come our out. kids' heads are falling off. Our trees are covered in snow. So it is beautiful, but it is cold. Mm -hmm. But I'm very excited because today I have finished hooking up all of our water lines for the cold side, which means. Ashley's dream is about to come true. Mm, I mean, it's really not a dream. <laughs> it's a it's, small dream, but I it's mean, a dream. it's an excitement, but it's like a necessity <laughs> excitement type of scenario. So it's not like I'm sitting here going, woo What's gonna, laundry. What's gonna happen as soon as we get up? What was that? Laundry, let's yeah. get crazy. So that right there is what she's excited about, is our laundry hookup and our wa washer, or our washer dryer, our dryer hookup. I do not yet have the hose uh, drilled into the wall, but those are minor details. So the reason I got you guys out, I pulled you out, is because I have done the final walkthrough. Everything should be good to go, but there's always that small chance where I feel like something's going to leak. So, so Ashley, I've showed Ashley where all of our connection points are. Oh my, gosh, my nose is so cold. I'm gonna flip on the water. Fingers crossed. We'll prime all of our lines, and nothing will leak. Are you ready? And then we have to try and get our washer out of the container. Only if you want to do laundry. Only. You ready? You want clean socks? I've ran out of socks, guys. Is this our main? This is the interior main shut off. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, quiet. Oh. Okay, you, you go check. I'll check in here, you check that room. Are you listening? Watching for leaks? I mean, it stops, so that means they're fresh, right? Well, I didn't open it up all the way. Checking. You do see it? Yeah, it's going up, 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 up. Oh, it's over there. Can't see it no more. Yeah? Yeah. So it's, that means there is Pressure. You see any leaks anywhere? Oh wait, I thought I saw a drop. Oh crap. Where? Over here. Where would that come from? I don't know. You gotta. Where? Tell me what, where exactly. Really like, get out. Well, it's it's not catastrophic. Nothing is. I, had, I didn't like forget to shut any valves. It looks like. All right. Doesn't look like we have any leaks. Oh, we're like Ash, triple checking. Ashley was a little bit nervous. But I have a test. Are you ready for a test? No, because I get test anxiety. Okay, well here we go. Here's my my awesome test. Oh gross. Uh oh. Oh wait, is this valve off maybe? There it is. Look at that yummy brown water. That's that's like six month old stale water right there. Or it's fecal matter. Maybe she took an upper decker. You think she took an upper decker before she left? Do you know what an upper decker is? Comment down below if you know what an upper decker is. <laughs> oh, listen to that glorious sound. We just gotta cycle out some water and then we'll be good. On my head, trying my best. Didn't know what I wanted. Never looked up, never was enough. Wishing I could be something Thunder and rain, losing my way Only made me so higher Taking my shot, all 
that I got Setting my soul on fire There's only one thing I know The best is yet to come guys it's in they may be ugly used washer and dryer but theoretically they work we haven't been able to test them for the past six months mm -hmm. so here's the moment of truth so people in bend who sold them to us let's be truthful people oh my gosh. everybody listen shh, shh. i heard water well yeah it was a pressure release Alright, let's, pl uh, I do not yet have the box for the washing machine wired, so we're just gonna run an extension cord to it, but the dryer, class, class, class. uh, the dryer 30 amp hookup is all wired up and good to go, so, uh, I'm so excited, we lit, lit literally, are, we have so many dirty clothes that we just have garbage bag full of dirty clothes. For the past in, in addition to two weeks, he has told me, it'll be, I can get it done in like two days. Okay. Okay. Two days. To be fair, we had to completely redo our roof no, in know. that time. But I had to laugh because we have, oh man. So we much laundry. We haven't done laundry in a while. Hence why I have no socks. She had to buy me I socks. I had to buy a couple pairs of socks. All right, plug it in. Let's see what happens. I'm so nervous. Like one, like it's like the Griswold. It no, is, go out wide, it. go out wide, and do the Griswold. Touch the Except it won't. Sparks. <laughs> it's glowing. Okay. I don't know how to use it. <laughs> well, see, there's this. Oh, start all these things button. are like falling off. We need a new, new one. It's not falling off. It's just cold, cold. Right there. No, we want the bottom cold, cold. Push start. Oh, it locked the door. Did it? I didn't hear it go clink. Yeah, it's a good... Usually well, you hear No, it. you heard it. You hear it. Ding! And now it says door's locked. <sighs> oh! Oh! You can see some water, some bubbles. Oh, brown it is, huh? Yeah, it's lots of brown water. Which is good that we're running it through. Sounds like it's filling up. I don't see any leaks yet. Oh wait, I might actually see a dribble, but that's from this connection, not from my plumbing. It might have been there from when I was screwing it on. There might have been a little res residue of moisture in the hose. How's it feel to be a proud owner of a washer dryer that functions? Good? Mm-hmm. <laughs> By the way, for those of you that forgot, it is still snowy out. Oh, baby, are Stimulate. you crying? Please don't. Oh my goodness, babe, it's okay. It's like a, you know, finally, and like you did it. I know, that's a good thing. It's exciting. Listen to that washer turn that dirty water. Can you give me a kiss on my chat lips? Your nasty stashes. <laughs> I see lots of hours of laundry ahead of you. And maybe a glass of wine. <laughs> so I've got my mark here set for drilling for our dryer vent. We're gonna just pop out right here on the side. I've got a little vent box that will slide in and it'll just vent right on here into the deck. Ugh. This guy, just, just like that, boom, actually, just like that, boom. Talking, getting tired of talking
Hey, Mav, what are we doing? What are we doing? We're out in the snow. What? Is it snowy out? Uh huh. How much snow do we have? Like, I don't know, three inches. And it's still oh, snowing. Oh, the weather outside is frightful. Look at that. But we got Persephone all hooked up with our harness getting our snow clothes on and we're gonna try and do some dog sledding. We got Goose's sled. We're, we're not quite sure if Mav's gonna do it yet, but me and Goose are definitely gonna go out and try and do some dog sledding. I don't know if Stephanie's up for it. You don't want to. One problem with having a dog that's afraid of everything, she's afraid of sled. Well, she's just gonna learn. She's been, we, we practiced with the, the stroller, the cart earlier, but this will be our first time doing it in legit snow. And she is ready to go. She's like, come on guys, I've been waiting for all morning. Are you ready to go play in the snow? Are you ready to go play in the snow? Uh, Sophie doesn't know what we want this whiteness is. No, she doesn't. She's like, what right. is this stuff? Doing so good. You're such a good snow dog. Watch out, watch out! <laughs> oh, good girl. You're being so good. I know it's nervous. I know. Good girl. How are you doing? You okay? Yeah, got yeah. snow in my pants. Ooh, fun. Redemption from mom. Zephy! <laughs> She's like, wait, what happened to you guys? <laughs> Mav, what'd you do? Zephy ruined our spot! What'd you do, Mav? What'd you make? Snow angel. You made a snow angel! <laughs> Zephy's ready to go. Alright, come back. Oh, there's another spot. Alright, let's see a snow angel. Come on, mommy, snow angel it up. Beautiful. In your so graceful. Right Here comes Mr. Fred plowing our driveway. <laughs> Come on. Good girl. Good girl. Oh no, I'm just going crooked. Good girl. Good girl, Seffy. Good girl. Watch out. Duck, duck. Oh, are you okay? Get her! Oh! <laughs> Mav, what are you eating? I won. Are you eating snow? So this tree here, these branches that are touching the floor were probably 15 feet up in the air and they've just sagged. It's insane what this ice and snowstorm has done 
to the trees on our property. I am so thankful that our house has stood up to the abuse because we've had, like I said, two feet of snow plus, look at that microwave. Yes, it's trash. Yes, I know it looks trash as she, but look at the two feet of snow on top of it. And this is the insane thing. I just noticed this from the inside of the house. So we actually haven't even seen it from the outside yet, but we've been hearing that all day too. Just ice falling from the trees now that it's warming up and it's raining. Anyways, come here and look at the side of this house. Ugh. So if the size of those icicles did not impress you from outside, look at this from the inside. If they continue to grow at the size they are, they will eventually begin to penetrate our window. But they are curved in and angling towards the house. And if that's not exciting enough for you, come and check out these trees over here that were 20 feet away from the house. That tree right there is now laying on top of our house. I don't see any damage inside. I'm guessing it was a slow tilt because if you look at it, a lot of these trees are all tilt it over because it just can't support the weight of the ice of all of the snow. Literally we've had two feet of snow up here and then freezing rain after that. So there's got to be thousands of pounds of weight up on this roof. Which makes me happy that it's holding, but so nervous. Oh. <laughs> That's laugh. Okay, this is our uh, drying rack. We have our little heater to try and keep it above freezing in here. Our fan to circulate the air and then all of our wet snow clothes on our drying rack. Because even though we have received our duckless mini splits, we do not have them hooked up. We're not even close to getting there. So it'll be a while before we get to that point. So to try and control our literally freezing temperatures, we've got our little tiny oil heater out. Anyways, the reason I came back in here is because I wanted to show you the fact that the roof is still standing. I don't see any leaks, even though we don't have our ridge cap on yet. We did tarp that uh, ridge cap. Uh, but it's looking good and it's holding up to some substantial abuse. Yes, we will consistently get snow up here, but two feet at a time is a rarity. It does happen. In fact, I've been told that they've received up to four feet at one time up here, which is just absolutely insane. Uh, but so far, everything looks good, but I'm not gonna lie, every little crack, every little noise I hear, every time the snow falls off of the tree next door, I'm like, was that our house? Was that the roof caving in? I'm <laughs> just <gasps> like that right there. <laughs> Every little sound gets me. On another positive note, we have been taking full advantage of our washer and dryer since we got this hooked up in the last episode. Uh, last week when you guys saw us get this in there, I have been doing laundry every single day and I am proud to say we have finally caught up on our laundry. I think I did like 12 loads of laundry. That's how much laundry we had accumulated. Pretty much our cupboards, our drawers, our dressers were empty. It had been so long since we were able to do laundry or since we had done laundry. But now we can do it whenever we want. And still no leaks, no issues of any kind in both the supply lines and the drain. I'm actually really excited because uh, having this open like this allows me to test it and use it with the walls down. So if we do have any issues, even if it's after a week or two weeks or even a month, I'm sure it'll be open before we get to the sheetrock stage that I can see it, I can test it. And then if there is a failure, I can fix it. So, so far I am quite pleased with how well it's turned out and how well everything is working. Now I just gotta get this heater hooked in here so we can actually start having hot water, start showering in here. Oh, it'll be delightful not having to rely on a small little six gallon RV hot water tank, which we've used for the past three or four years. It'll be so nice to have a full size water heater. Actually, not even a full size, a instant, never ending hot water heater. Goose is gonna take like five hour showers. She, she is our shower child. <laughs> Oh my goodness, her boots are covered in snow. 